welcome back my atn members welcome to another how to escape video today we are back in the gate of the setting sun in mr pandaria i'm going to be showing you how i escaped during the video and uh you're going to be able to see how and i'm going to explain it here now this this credit goes to true hero as he was the one to find the outing first um i will admit i don't know if i actually used his way out but <clears throat> I'm going to show you the way I got out, and if it's his, it's his. If it's not, it's not, but Hero gets all the credit for this OB anyway. So good job to Hero, and uh, the credit goes to him. So where I'm currently at is uh, when you come in through the entrance right over here, you're going to walk down the first pathway here. There's two ways that I like to get out of this dungeon. Uh, the first one is going to be right here. Now, it takes a little bit of manipulation. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grow yourself. So if you have a, you know, Vico drinking horn or you have elixir of giant growth like I just did, that's going to be perfect. Uh, what you're going to want to do is metamorphosis right into the wall here. Right up in this, the wall. Now you're going to be up against the wall here. Now you're going to want to act fast because this is going to allow you to put a pillow down on the wall. And once you sit on the pillow, oh, ah. Don't go too out. Now, normally this works easier, but just put on a pillow right here. Ah, it stopped it. So once you put down a pillow on the wall here, you should just easily get out. Especially when you're big. Uh, it didn't work that time because I'm not big. Because like when you jump into the wall, you will just completely get out. Uh, so what I can do here is since I kind of screwed that up, I'm just gonna switch to vengeance real quick. And then what I'm gonna do is just jump straight to the back into the corner here. And then uh, I'm gonna put another pillow down right here. I need to back up just a little bit. See, that's the problem. When you're metamorphosing, you're actually a lot bigger than you usually are. So you need to line it's it up so that away. when you jump into the wall here, you're going to place a pillow down right here and then just jump and quickly get out that's one of the first ways i got out, out of range. uh unfortunately i ran out of time with the metamorphosis so maybe i can do it with this let me try let me try this here technically this is still metamorphosing here so what i can do is place a pillow down it might throw there we go and then there you go you're completely out of the map now do be careful as you can fly through the walls here but you're okay right here. If you go anywhere towards the middle here, you're going to die. So just be careful to kind of walk along exactly where I go. And stay within the bounds. If you go anywhere left, you're going to die completely. So just stick over here. Stick this way. And then stick over here and you'll be completely fine. I haven't had any problems going this way at all. But if you do go out here, you will die. So just be careful there. But for uh, the video purposes, I'm going to go die because there's another way I want to show you how I got out. So let's go die real quick and I'll show you real quick. If we go into here, we're going to die. There we go. So we died. So let's go back to the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go head out towards over here. And I'll show you another place where you can get out. And it's fairly simple. So just going to make our way past the first boss room. We're going to go out this way. We're going to speed up a little more. We can kill the mantrid, mantrid or whatever they're called first real quick. And what you can do is you can actually go right over here onto these both of these steps. And this will also allow you to get out of the map as well. So normally you can't get to the boss room this early, but this will allow you to actually fly down here. And you can go walk on the court and everything down here as well. And you can actually fly over to these gates like this. There you go. And you can get down here and interact with the NPCs as well. You normally are not supposed to get here. So that's just two ways that you can actually get out of the gate of the setting sun. This entrance is pretty simple. 
because not only is it's pretty open but it, you know you can really use anything to get out i mean just use the pillows to your advantage or the toys and you'll get out fairly simple but that's how i got out uh, that's what i didn't show in the video that's for you guys the members and uh yeah that's it so let's go fly down here and i think we're gonna die i don't remember but this is also another way you can just skip the uh the dungeon as well so if we come over here i think you can interact with this yep and we can actually shoot ourselves back up if we want to so there you go that's a way out because normally you can't actually fly over there if you try to see a wall will stop you just infernal strike over there should normally be able to but i think you have to be up on this one here there we go and there you go you're out of bounds again so fairly simple easy to do that's how to get out of the gate at setting sun so hope you guys enjoyed thanks